These are the Awakeners. I'm Laura Vinson, an indigenous singer-songwriter. I have the most incredible view of the Rocky Mountains from my backyard. This is my valley. I grew up here. I love every season of the year. Even the winter is amazing. My sister and I ride at the ranch surrounded by a glorious blanket of snow that rests on the land and the trees. This is my ancestral home where it all began. My heritage, my culture, and the inspiration for my songs. But after years of playing loud music in a band, I'm actually losing my hearing. Music has been the center of my life. It's a frightening thing to think that one day I might not be able to hear anything. How could I write songs and not be able to work on them with the guitar? Life would feel empty to me, like a desert. As a musician, I'd feel lost without it. Sometimes things can happen that are outside of your control and it's hugely upsetting. These feelings remind me of the loss I feel after recently losing my sister, Noreen. She was a person with a developmental disability. We all miss her so much. The other day, I came across this gorgeous little hooked rug and thought, this is amazing. Noreen made this for me. The needlework with diamonds and triangles and reds and blacks and blues is striking. It's a bold pattern that's prevalent in our Métis culture. It's not going to hang in an art gallery, but it's beautiful because she made it. Then it dawned on me that this rug was art. We were sisters that shared a creative spirit, and that spirit compelled us both to share our hearts with people. This piece of art was her way of communicating with me by saying beautifully, I love you. Finding her rug started me thinking about how that spirit-born connection works. Now, more than ever, I want to understand this connection better. Maybe then it'll help me work through my hearing loss and understand how I might continue to connect with people and enrich their lives. I'm now on a journey to celebrate and document the lives of Indigenous disabled artists like my Mountain Métis sister, all of whom have experienced the healing power of art. They know that their art is spirit-born and so it carries a universal language understood by everyone that can awaken all who see, hear, and feel their work to the beauty of Indigenous people.